Welcome back. We got a special one. New Shalagram to check out. That's what it looks like. Pretty cool. Okay. Excitingly, I have a toothpick. We're gonna go over this. Uh, quickly, hopefully, because honestly, these tend to be big files, I guess, when I use the full screen. Okay. So... <clears throat> What is great about this one is obviously we can really see where the current etched. Around this way. Almost like a belt that wrapped around. And then here though, we got the, this meeting of the current this way, and the current this way, and then here's the structure. It's pretty interesting that that's going on. Um, let's see, it's a little tricky doing this, sorry. So let's start here. This thing is incredible. I have a magnifying glass that I looked at it pretty close. It's got really intricate detail inside, like lines going sideways, but then the closer to this like mass thing here, there's like specks and patterns that are like almost like going sideways and up and down and creating like a array of dots. So that's pretty interesting. Then this thing here is really interesting, if we can get a good angle of it. There's a... Uh, maybe there? There we go, we can kind of see this, the stripes in the side. Like the shallograms that are like single chunks that have discs and layers. There we go, we can kind of see the striations in there, but as it gets closer to the center there, that's interesting, it's got like different spaced waves almost. It's very anomalous, this, this here. I've never seen this shape. It also seems to be, this seems to have been like a weird chakra that formed. But due to the overall shape, it formed just like a folded and weird shape. Uh, that's not related to the chakra there. Then we can see right there, this, this thing that had the striations on this side. Here. Has... Uh, uh. Oh, there it is. It has like a missing segment here in the front. Hmm. I don't know how to make this focus better. It was focusing pretty well. I was like, oh wow, this might be pretty good focus. There we go. We can see inside there, this missing chunk has little striations as well. This looks kind of to be forming another one right here. And then uh, other things of interest, like if we just look at the top, the, the, this goes like this, over this way, and then this way, and it's bending, it's bending around the rock here. 
here, and then inward it bends even more, and almost takes like a full-blown 90 degree angle, especially off of this, this is like a 90 degree angle. So it's wrapping around the rock, generally a current, wrapping around, creating these in layers probably, so certain layers, like like this one going around here, it looks like it goes off while something above goes, isn't etching in over here, but it's like above and comes down to etch in this way, is my guess. And then over here, it passes some other current, which we even see over here a little bit. Yeah, we can see it in the video over here. So it's interacting there. There's also like a little lobe thing going on that maybe goes down on this side a little bit. Other things of interest, let's see. We can see inside this one would be nice. Right here. There's little chain the the ammonite structure in there that's like still a mass in there in the back is segmented into chamber shot structures it seems you can see little up and down dividing into like four of them it's hard i'm not sure if we can see them i can see two there on the video where it's like dividing them Other things going on that are pretty interesting looking around it. And then on this side, let's go to this side. Let me find the one. Let me pull this away for a second. One of them. Where is it? There it is. This one back on the side. Right there. Fine, a really, really subtle and like fine threading, like chakra in there looking thing. It's just so subtle. Like for fossils to, to do subtle features like this is highly un, like anomalous. I don't think it, the it's really compatible with the typical interpretation of fossilization because fossilization according to interpretation seems to be capable of like smearing things out and making things like a mess so to preserve this really subtle backbone down into there is in my opinion quite anomalous like I could probably just break it off if I wanted to not that I have any interest in that, but uh, some holes there, that's interesting, that's almost like a chakra right across there. We mostly looked at this side, so let's go back to this side though. And here's another one with that backbone thing, a little more like reasonable from a fossilization standpoint. And then there's this. If I can get some light in there at the right angle. I should have got a flashlight. <laughs> it, it looks basically like it kind of drilled in a little bit and just made a little protrusion like at the far end here, right there. That probably has some anomalous shapes, and when I was looking at it, it almost looked like it might like go inward as it goes around, like a, have a different depth, a different portions of the spiral. So then this one though, right? And then there's whatever's going on here, nice and flat, this segment on, on the wall here. 
that then meets up with some teeth. There's teeth over here for some reason, like from a seemingly from a ammonite fossil, but they're like wide as that. If we look down in there, the teeth stop right where the rock like has the, the teeth go in there, but then they space and go also behind along this face to create like this indent, this cut. So this teeth, and then it runs into resistance, goes around and cuts. And that cut runs all the way up and abuts this. And where it abuts it, this, it's just like the other side. It's this really fine structure right along the boundary. Which makes sense for currents, like a current run, but if something's going on here, applying an outward pressure generally, and a current moves over towards it, that it would like run into resistance and potentially could do this, that it could do this, and would run into resistance and leave like a little structure between. Some more teeth over here. More teeth right there, a little bit of teeth structure there. It's a little blurry, there we go. <clears throat> I tried to look around at it. <clears throat> like there's definitely a current going around this way, wrapping around and then running into resistance and scraping these little chunks. Like the boundary between this scraped portion and this scraped portion, there's a boundary here. And that boundary is actually in line with this going down here, which goes over through here, through here, to like here at least. So there's a connection from generally the top, like let's call this top center, this structure generally is near the top center. And then at its, at its outer ring, its outer edge is this current path that seemingly goes over here, interacts with this cross current and creates like a boundary in here. But if we follow this, like it still seems to continue through here, up this way, and then go over this way. So that would suggest that as this goes up this way, it runs into a cross current. So this current could be going this way, or it could be going the other way. And because it, because it bends in, this direction that means this etching here is flowing this way and pushing the current going across this way to bend it so there's something going on there it's pretty smooth there or rough there I mean So a region that was less etched by currents, maybe it was more compacted between the currents. Like a current mostly went here, for sure mostly went along this portion that scooped out a belt. And then over here, let's see what we got. We got another ammonite, there's that chakra, which has a hole in it. Like at the chakra. This is the one that had the layers. Which is like over here, this belt kind of stops. So it seems like it feeds into the system and create etches this ammonite structure here. 
and then seemingly also feeds into this one, matching this one, and then runs into resistance here, which is probably why these happened. Not sure why that would be going like that. Top to bottom, I guess. And then again, some matching in like different patterns here. Also this one, I noticed this, right here, there's these little striations. Highly likely they're related to the ammonite here, and the, the current flow that was essentially spiraling in, then went out through these paths and literally participated in making these, which are not part of the ammonite, but are right adjacent to it. <clears throat> so there's a good chance it's related, although maybe it could be argued it's more related to these up top. And just continuing across the face without actually being related to the ammonite structure particularly. Let's just keep turning. Let's go this way, I guess. like over here. That looks almost like the like these much bigger these much bigger like a chunk like if one of these chunks were it to be this whole thing Maybe that's what's going on here with these. Or these are like the divides between. It's way less um, structured, I guess. Although it does kind of make sense if that if this is just one of the chambers. Ultimately, then it was kind of experiencing a current like this. Although it's not really on this side having the same happen. Maybe not. So cool. So I guess <clears throat> perhaps this one here was actually going uh, from this side this way. Flow. That then another current was going this way. ran into this current, which bent it, maybe? Perhaps.
see how close I can get this. Look at those lines in there. striations right at this edge This is still not picking up the detail. Like we see some detail in there, but it's not what I saw with the with my magnifying glasses. I have like 60 times magnification, which I I don't know how to get that. I and mean, I wish I had like a way to get good magnification photos of these things. Definitely see one of those spine things right there going kind of this way. And then just running into the chakra. That's so subtle though. Sorry, Shalagram. Okay, I don't want to drag this on because the video is going to be a high file size. Which I have enough files on my computer already. It's really getting out of hand. I gotta figure out what I wanna do with all these. Like I, I would hate to put them on a hard drive and then have that hard drive either be lost or not work or something. Be corrupted or something. <clears throat> also, there looks to be some teeth like right there sort of starting to etch in behind this. Okay, so that's this shallogram I thought I'd share. don't know what to make of it as a whole. I mean, even though there's all these current paths etched on its surface, like matching those with what is on the surface in general, all this stuff, as well as just the, I mean, maybe the ammonites sort of have, make sense, but the top and bottom aren't in the, like, paths of these currents very much, and what is, is like, unclear how this really leads to like over here although it does look like it etches in like right there so maybe it kind of folds this way and like it goes off the rock enough but then goes down in there like it ramps around this region and goes down you can definitely see some subtle lines across here way more subtle and over here as well let's see if the subtle lines point to anything so I'm going that way that way that way this way this way this way right there right here this way and then this way right next to it this way bending like this bends around that and then bends around here and then bends around here I guess and then bends here and then goes straight that way again so that pretty much circles it I 
There's a little bit of like a one of the lobe type structures there, maybe forming. Let's see anything else? This one did not go through also, or is it this? Did not go through. There's no opening on the other side. Like if we look for anything right here, opposite side. It would be around, around here. So may, maybe there's like a really fine, fine, subtle opening around here. But I don't, I can't make it show light through it as much as I tried. Something going on here. Something there. This way, as well as around this, the color. Color there. I already talked about that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just cool. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see y'all in the next one. Uh, hope that was like good to look at. Wasn't like too bad of a camera uh, focus and so on. And uh, see you. See you next time.